Greetings and salutations everyone. Hi there, I am Mark Absalon and welcome to Mark Absalon's Video Tips and Tricks brought to you in part by TubeTape.com. I am your host, Mark Absalon. And in this video, we're going to show you how to create a mood and also create video enhancements using special effects and sound effects within your video, even if it's a really mundane uninteresting clip because what you're doing is you're wanting to create a mood to bring your audience in and we have here one of those clips this is a very simple kind of dull clip there's no real mood enhancement to it there's no anything really for the audience it's got a little bit of a storm brewing in the background but nothing really dramatic and as you can see here I've got sand dunes well don't be deceived by these sand dunes guys these things were mega tall. If you were standing at the very top of it right here, I could probably barely see you on this clip. So they were absolutely enormous. Well, what we're going to do with these kind of dull and uninteresting clips is we're going to enhance them with sound effects and also special effects. We're going to be using some sound effects and special effects that are available over at TubeTape.com. They're part of the Video Copilot series. It is Action Essentials 2, Designer Sound Effects, and Pro Scores. Well, let's first start out as to what I'm going to do to enhance these dull and uninteresting clips. Hmm, I started thinking. I think I'll make an Armageddon scene. Well, since, you know, no one has really experienced Armageddon before, I personally think Armageddon would have a lot of fires in it. So what I did is I drug in a clip from Action Essentials 2 of fires. Now, you're probably seeing all these different clips that I have up here. Well, I've already pre-assembled this because if I showed you exactly how to do it step by step, we would be doing this video for well over an hour and it would just be too intense. So what I'm gonna do is show you pretty much the basics to get started to do something similar to your video clips. Well, the clip that I drug in from Action Essentials 2 is a fire. And uh, the fire kinda looks odd, doesn't it? It's black and on the horizon. It's got these things. Well, we haven't removed the alpha channel. And I also have some masking along the edges. Well, to do the masking, you just go to the uh, pan crop and you'll add it through anchor points. Now, this is a very rough masking, but it does what I want it to do. And that is place the fire on the horizon of the clip so it looks like it's in the background. Now we need to remove the alpha channel itself. To remove the alpha channel, you just right click on the clip, go down to properties, go up to media, and go to alpha channel. Click that and go down to pre-multiplied. We'll click OK. And voila, the background is gone. The alpha channel is no more and it's transparent. That's what we want because we want our fire to look realistic. And uh, that's what we've done through adding the, uh, the mask and also removing the alpha channel. Now I've done that on the other clips too. Let me take these off of mute so you can see them. And at the end here, I decided that it would be a great place to place an explosion. So let's take all these off. I also added dust. Uh, and several other tracks and they're all in a layer cake on top of one another with a few effects thrown in in between to make it look a little bit more realistic. Now another thing I should probably talk about before we move on is the fire itself. Now the fire here you can see it's kind of moving a little slow. Well that's what we want. Fire at a distance is going to be perceived as moving slow than if it's up close where it's moving relatively fast. Well these clips from Action Essentials 2 were shot pretty close up so you need to slow them down and make some slow motion on them. Now you can do that by either right clicking and going to properties and doing it that way or you can just click on the edge and hit control and drag the clip out to create the slow motion. Well all these are at a distance and slow motion is applied to make them look more realistic and be perceived as being at a distance in the video. Well we've done this now we need to add some other stuff like sound effects because uh, this isn't gonna 
you know this just doesn't create the mood visually it does and there's a little things in here we're going to go back and correct to make it look even more realistic here in a minute but uh let's add some sound effects well with it being armageddon i would think that this would be a very windy dry arid environment so i have added some wind to the club to add to the mood also I have added a fire track from designer sound effects to create the fiery sound and the ambience of everything being scorched earth and everything just absolutely horrible and the world has ended but that's not it we have to add more now to create some more drama I have added some thunder because we do have all these uh, thunderstorms brewing behind us and you would think there would be some thunder so I've added some thunder to that to add some more ambient background noise now sometimes a lot of the ambient background noise isn't perceived by the audience but it's always essential to add it into the clip because in reality it's there but not as noticeable as other messages you're trying to convey especially if you're doing an acting clip you'll want uh, foley or ambient uh, sound effects and etc in the background but you still want to focus entirely on your subject where well, our subject here is pretty much the ambient noise and the fire because we are trying to create a mood through this and uh, we're since we're changing scenes I want to make some drama now I've made some drama by adding a drum hit from designer sound effects so when we go from one clip to the other there's a little bit of a bang to kind of keep you on your toes now that's not it I want to add some more to it so I've added some music here to the background to kind of give it some eeriness this was called ghost town from designer sound effects because Armageddon's an eerie place it's desolate everyone's dead it's really disturbing so let's pause that and uh, since we have that added I needed to add some explosions for our bomb for our nuclear thermonuclear warhead going off so I did that by adding two different uh, sound effects up here at the top now I pre-rendered this so that you can see exactly what it looks like there's a couple of things we want to add to it um, here in just a minute with some filters and some rack focus to make it even more terrifying because I think uh, that the world in Armageddon is going to be either yellow or red and everything's just going to be very hot so let's uh, let's take a look at the scene that we've made so far pull this out so it plays back looks pretty realistic it's getting the image read that we want across to our audience kind of terrifying okay uh, since I pre-rendered this we're gonna go into another Vegas window here and I have cut up the pre-render uh, that I had made into three sections now this is something that probably every video producer does they'll render something out or pre-render it and then take it back in and edit it whether it's in nesting or whatever you want however you want to do it um, and cut more things into it and that's what we've done here I have this track and another track in another window to add more effects to it and what I've done is I have turned this area into a very yellowish arid looking very hot environment and I've done that by adding a film filter that turns everything kind of warmish and I've also added some rack focus on this also by uh, blurring out the bottom so that it even looks hotter than what the yellowish filter gives and um, as you can see I I did it on this track too by even blurring out the sand dunes somewhat to make it look like it's even hotter so let's take a look at this let's see what our total product looks like finally after the final render with the rack focus and filters we go from our simple dull uninteresting track of clips to something 
totally different using sound effects and also special effects. And this is what we get. That was pretty terrifying, wasn't it? From something dull to something dramatic. And you can use this to create the mood for your film, for your audience. Whether, like I said, it's something dull or something dramatic. If you want to write the actual special effects into your script, you can do it that way. Or if you just want to make something kind of silly and interesting like what I did here for you guys, you can do that also. But remember, special effects and sound effects, whether it's Foley sound uh, and ambient sound along with music, can really add some drama to your video. Now, don't forget, all these are available over at TubeTape.com along with just about anything else you could possibly want for your video production. So definitely go over and check those guys out. Well, I'm Mark Absalon, and I hope you have a cool and groovy evening, afternoon, or morning, whatever it is, wherever you are, and I will see you again on the next Video Tips and Tricks.